Each year, monarchs in the eastern United States and Canada embark on a great migration, traveling up to 3,000 miles to their overwintering location in Mexico. On their journey, monarch butterflies rely on milkweed and other blooming plants for the nutrition they need to continue their life cycles to make this annual migration. But urban development and advancements in agriculture are rapidly affecting the landscape. The habitat that monarchs need in order to survive is disappearing at an alarming rate. As monoculture continues to become the predominant uh, feature of the landscape, we have to learn how to make every scrap of land that we can get for the environment and for wildlife and for pollinators the most valuable that it can be. Because we just don't have those open expanses of prairie anymore. As habitat is lost, we are seeing a trend that could cost us this iconic species. Since the mid-1990s, eastern monarch butterfly populations have decreased from over 1 billion to just 60 million. We have lost over 80% of our monarchs in the last 20 years. And scientists believe that if we do not act now, there could be a 60% chance that the monarch will become extinct within the next 20 years. Monarchs can't wait, and we can't ignore their crisis. The Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund is doing something about this critical need now. Just like innovations have increased the efficiency and productivity of modern agriculture, we also apply new innovations and technology to work with agriculture to make conservation as good as it can be. Through unique partnerships, the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund is working with landowners, farmers, beekeepers, and other key groups to identify unused or underproducing land and plant high-quality seed mixes that provide critical nutrition for monarch butterflies, honeybees, and other native pollinators. This thing that we call pollinators is the single greatest conservation movement of my lifetime. Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund next-gen seed mixes are designed by biologists and experts to provide the best nutritional value to our pollinators. We very specifically called them next-gen habitat projects because this project and this result brings new innovation and new technology to how we design and how we establish and manage this habitat. It's different than how we've been doing pollinator projects before this. And that influences what it costs, the pollinator value that we get out of this, how quickly it establishes, the weed competition, strength of a mixture like this. This is all new innovation and technology. We like to think that we've built a better mousetrap when it comes to pollinator habitat. In the pilot phase of our program, over 120 landowners and farmers established next-gen habitat projects to benefit pollinators, including 6.8 million milkweed seeds, which directly support monarch butterflies. We design our mixtures very strategically with a certain number of annuals in them that show up like that three months after being planted, and they're providing lots of pollinator value. And we also design the mixtures with lots of perennials some which might take a couple of years to come on. And then we make sure that we include species that are very robust and hang on. This is Maximilian sunflower, very robust. Even if grasses come in, this species will hang on. And this, my good friend Wendy might add, is in my opinion, one of the most important plant species to get monarchs to the mountaintop in Mexico. It's this huge, huge task put in front of us to restore enough habitat, 1.8 billion additional milkweed stems on the landscape. You know, that's, that's a huge endeavor. And so what's unique and different about this partnership is how quickly it's got to action and got to more habitat on the landscape. The amazing thing about the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Project is that by putting the right plants in the mix, you can benefit native pollinators, songbirds, game birds, all kinds of wildlife. Using innovation, technology, and communication, the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund is making a difference today. But we need to do more to reverse the monarch's decline. And we need your help. The Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund is bringing innovation and technology to pollinator habitat. Everybody can make a difference by supporting our efforts. Help the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund by putting more pollinator habitat like this onto the landscape. A contribution of as little as $100 will give us one acre of this habitat on the landscape. Get involved. 
Be a part of our next-gen habitat solutions. Visit beeandbutterflyfund.org.